Dylan! There is a big rooster. Hi friends. Welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. This episode is all about our annual trip to Montana. Yes, it's a trip we look forward to every year. It's about a 34 hour drive if we were to drive straight through, but with stops for gas and food, it's uh, 39. And we don't drive that straight through, that 39 hours. We break it into three separate days. Our first day is around Cleveland, Ohio. That's about 13 hours. And then our second day is Woodville, Wisconsin. That's about a 13 hour trip. And then our last day, we arrive in Plentywood, Montana, and that's about 13 hours. So upon arrival, we stay at the Sherwood Inn where they welcome hunters and their dogs. That's right. You know, it's such a long drive that we wanna make sure we get plenty of hunting in. So we try to hunt at least the same number of days as we travel. So three days out and three days back, that's six days. So we scheduled six days for hunting. Sounds like a plan, right? So for the first three days, it rained so hard that it hurt your face to be out in it. And then the fourth day, the wind blew so hard, you could barely maintain your balance, let alone have the dogs find anything in that kind of wind. So we really, we really ended up with just two days of hunting. And uh, we snuck out the last morning just before we left Plentywood, but we'll talk about that more later. Well, let's get out in the field and, and uh, see what we've got. Woo, woo, Dina's rock solid. Woo, woo, woo. She's rock solid. It'll be right under her nose. I'm going to reach out a little further, dear. Yep. Whoop. Well, I don't know. Release him. Yep. Hey, man, super. Amen. Well, here we are. The third day of rain in Plentywood, Montana, trying to hunt in the rain in Montana, taking a little break from the rain, reading the Sheridan County News, waiting for the rain to stop. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, take on the nuisance of foot odor. Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodenstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, Robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Well, as you can see, we did try to hunt in the rain and it, it got on the lens of the, of the camera and it was a mess. But then we got about a 30 minute break uh, from the rain. So we ran out again and uh, let's see what happens. Pheasant. Pheasant. Cordy's behind you. Dylan, whoa. Trying to find a bird here, we've got 
Enob Point. And here we are on the fourth day with wind galore, making, sending and pointing just about impossible. It was impossible for the dogs. Yeah, you're right, Susan. It was it was very difficult. You know, and the somewhat disappointing part of this is we took our, well, five and a half month old uh, German short hair puppy, Cordy, out so she would just be immersed in bird scent. And that would be a big step towards uh, getting her into pointing birds. Um, but she did, she did encounter a lot of birds, so it wasn't a total failure there. And we, we like her. She's a great prospect. Well, folks, after three days of rain in Plentywood, Montana, we've got a beautiful sunny morning. Let's go hunting. Down this side. See the deer? Go chase the deer, dogs. Another deer up on top. You know, after a few days out there, we, we noticed something that was a bit alarming to us, and that is there was a, a real drop in the number of sharp-tailed grouse. And we love the sharp-tail. It's a great bird. If it hasn't been pressured, like all birds, if it's pressured a lot, then they, they're not so good on holding for the point. But the sharp-tail tends to hold better than the huns and the pheasants. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, there were a, a, a lot fewer sharp tails than normal. Now, pheasant numbers seem to be way up, and so were huns, Hungarian partridge, and they're they're fine. They give the birds, the, excuse me, they give the dogs a lot of work, and uh, occasionally they'll they'll be able to point a hun covey and hold it and keep it there till we get there. Pheasants, as you know, they run a lot, but uh, we still got a lot of work in on the pheasants. So we had some, some really nice dog work there, point, but it was a pheasant and pheasants are out of season. 
So uh, we'll keep going. Just a little recap on what happened here. Dylan went on point, and Dina couldn't see him, so Paul woed Dina, and then Dylan moved on. And then Dina went on point about 40 feet further, and uh, Paul, uh, Paul couldn't find a bird, and so he released Dina. Well, I might add there that Dylan was a bit of a rogue, and, and he wouldn't honor Dina. I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, that wasn't good. As you know, we like our dogs to be staunch and steady to wean and shot and not chase and, and to honor. So, but anyway, that was, that turned out to be a running pheasant. And you know, with, with the high wind and the running birds, why that was a difficult situation for a, a pointing dog. But uh, we did get a flush and we saw what it was. Oh yeah. A quick break for a message from our sponsors. And we'll be right back with more Montana. Hi, I'm Wayne Noyes, owner of the Generator Connection in Barrington, New Hampshire. We offer several options for off-grid power systems for your hunting or fishing camps. First, we have a selection of Honda inverter generators that are super quiet. Then we offer the new Kohler Power N-Cube Power Pack in the Winco 12KW propane generator featuring the Honda engine. Call us at 603-664-4004 or visit us at generatorconnection.com. Don't be left in the dark. Hi folks. Our dogs work very hard for us. They need and deserve a high performance dog food. My choice is Native. Native has been formulated for the canine athlete. It has none of the low value, hard to digest fillers such as soy, corn, wheat. It has only high grade chicken and high grade digestible grains. It comes in four levels of fat and protein. Each level is formulated for the stress and activity level for your dog at that time. Make the switch today. Your dog will be happy and so will you. Hi friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. I should point out that, that our good friend Gordon, uh, a ranch and, and farm owner in the area is hunting with us.
Amen. Amen. Yeah, I did too. Does it? I heard it too. Does it? Okay. You was dead. So, yeah. that just does it. It's about 15 so far. Oh, that's totally. I bet there'll be more. Oh, oh look at that. I know. Pheasant. Cordy, come. Come. All right, let's take a look at you. And here, Paul's checking Cordy for, she had just run into some barbed wire, so he wanted to make sure that she wasn't cut. Speaking of which, Dina did cut herself on barbed wire the fifth day of hunting. And so we took her to Dr. Heather Grimm out in Homestead, Montana. She did a wonderful job of sewing her up and, of course, the, putting her in an, in an Elizabethan collar. So that essentially ended her hunting. Um, but we did uh, manage to get her out for a little hunt so that she wasn't quite so unhappy. Um, so, well, I might add that uh, she's our she's probably our top dog right now. Dylan is becoming a bit of a rogue in his old age, but she did help us uh, harvest a few sharp tails at the end of the hunt, and we'll do more on that a little bit later. What you got? Quick break for a message from our sponsors. And we'll be right back with more Montana. Hi folks, Merkel is my choice for a shotgun. Whether it be simple backyard clay shooting or competitive clay shooting or upland bird hunting, Merkel is spot on. You throw it up to your shoulder, it's always right there. Merkel is known for its elegant, high performance shotguns. The new 40E field grade shotgun is offered at an attainable and an affordable price. The Merkel shotgun is robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. Check out Merkel today. You won't be disappointed. Admit it, you've been busted. Maybe more than once. I've been busted too, but it happens a lot less now that I'm ecstatic. Not the giggly kind, the odor eliminating kind. New 3M Thinsulate Platinum Insulation with ecstatic odor control in wooden stream hunting boots. The first full line of hunting boots to have it. Odor stomping, warm, waterproof, and breathable. I'm ecstatic for good reason. Don't get busted, get wooden stream boots. Hi, Bird Dogs and Field viewers. I'm here today with Dylan, who's almost 10 years old and still hunting hard. So in order to help him, we use Canine Active. It's for working and hunting breeds, and it is my go-to for pain relief and for an anti-inflammatory. You can use it before strenuous activity to help keep them moving and help reduce muscle soreness, or you can use it after for recovery. Try it today, Canine Active.
Looks like you got one, Susan. Whoa, I'm gonna come around on the other side so the sun isn't right in my camera. You go right, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tina. Stop, no, no. No chasing. What? I just heard him. Heard what? The a bird. Go bird. What? She stopped up there. Not sure why. Go ahead. What you got? What you got? Huh? What you got? You got some birds down here? All right, Corey. Let's go down this way. Got in there, girl. Yep. Big one. Yep. Was right on it. Good girl, Cordy. <laughs> Cordy! Cordy! No! Cordy! Oh, oh. She's coming. Cordy, come. Just a, a quick comment on chasing. And you're going to see some chasing in this episode by our dogs. We don't like our older dogs to chase. It's a dangerous situation. You've got a dog chasing a bird. The bird's above the dog and shooting is going on. And we try to avoid that. Our older dogs seem to have, have forgotten that a little bit. Uh, but anyway, we don't like them to chase. We don't mind the puppy chasing. The puppy has to get the chase out of their system before you can break the dog. And so we don't mind the puppy chasing, you know, for a year they can chase if they want to. So that's kind of our, our philosophy towards chasing birds. Oh my God, there they go. There they go, she had them. They're down, oh my God. That's a sharp tail there. Oh dear. That was a sharp tail.
Were they all sharp tailed? I think so. She was tracking them. They were right in the feed here. Let's see if there's another one in here. Those were Huns. There goes another one. Well, she's not gun shy. I must confess, I'm a bit embarrassed with my shooting this year in Montana. Last year, I think I was seven for eight on sharp tails, and it seems like I can't hit the broad side of a barn this year. But I'll tell you, we did sneak out our departure day for just a couple of hours, and that, that kind of saved the trip for me. I was able to connect. So put Montana on your bucket list. It's something every upland hunter should do at least once in their life. That's right, Susan. Uh, it's, it's a great place. You'll enjoy the people. You'll, you'll enjoy the beauty of the outdoors there. Thanks for watching, and uh, we hope to catch you in the field someday. Hi, folks. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash Bird Dogs Afield. Thank you. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by... RST Shot Gels, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel Shotguns. Cordy? Whoa. <laughs> whoa. 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 Whoa, whoa, Cordy! I said whoa. Trigger.